Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we will talk be talking about something that everyone seems to have a problem with. I mean, everyone, like everyone I talk to, 10 out of 10, would recommend this as a problem. And that is not only creating strong passwords that they are hoping hackers and scammers will not be able to guess, but storing those passwords so that they don't end up in a situation where they can't remember them either and constantly having to reset the password for their account. I see this a lot. It's unfortunate. We get a lot of calls where people forgot their password or, um, you know, because they were trying to set a very safe and secure password and they accomplished that so well that they locked themselves out. So let's talk about that. But before we do, we're going to talk about the big no, no when it comes to passwords, because there is a big no, no out there. And I see this a lot. And that is using the same password for every account online, especially for the critical accounts like your online banking, email, you know, Amazon account, places where you have your credit cards stored. That is a big no, no right there. Do not use the same password for all of those accounts. That is very insecure. That makes it so that all the hackers or scammers have to do is get that password once and now they have it. And they'll be able to get into all of your different accounts with one master key that you basically created for them. That's very bad. So don't do that, right? But that being said, you're probably thinking, but if I don't use the same password for every single account, I'm going to forget the passwords. I'm going to have to create all these different passwords and keep track of what, what this is nonsense, right? So let's talk about how to create strong passwords and then store them properly. Okay. Creating strong passwords. I love the idea that came off the the blog recently, I saw this once actually, or heard it once off of, a, um, off of a podcast talking about computer security by one of the top guys in, uh, in the field. And he was talking about using things that are maybe, uh, you know, very random. It doesn't have to be prudent to you. So maybe like a song title, a Bible verse or a movie revamping those titles a little bit so that it's different. Our blog talks about this. It shows some perfect examples. This is a highly recommended method is basically taking something that is a real thing, like a song, movie or Bible verse, changing it up, revamping it, adding in a mix of numbers, letters and symbols to help uh, create that security, make it a really, really strong and hard to guess password. Right now, what do you do once you have that password now that you've got a secure one? Well, what I like to do is I have two methods. So my really, really secure passwords, the ones that are for critical accounts like Amazon, Gmail, my bank account, things like that. I store in this little Zelda uh, notebook. This is a notepad notebook in here. There's paper. I'm not going to show you because my secure passwords are in here, but this is great. My sister got this for me a long time ago. I love it because it's Zelda for one, one of my uh, favorite games of all time. And two, it's from my sister and I love her. So. She got that for me and I've always put my passwords inside of this little notebook, my really, really important ones. And as I change them, I'll track the changes, right? I knock it out, put in the new one. I put the date next to it. Yeah, it's really, really old school. You know, he taught me to do this. My grandma taught me to do that. And I've done this uh, ever since this. I remember she always used to have a book with her very important password. So I do use this now. This is, a, you know, old school method. I, al I also do a more modern up-to-date method of tracking my passwords because I can't track them all in here. So, you know, I have accounts out there like Chewy, Hulu, different things like that that just like aren't critical. If I have to change a password, whatever, I hardly ever access the accounts, things like that. Maybe I have to create an account for something online or whatever. And, and you know, I know I'm like not going to use it again for a while. I will typically just use the password generator. You guys have probably seen this. Everyone's probably seen this right online every now and then your browser will say instead of coming up with a, a password, hey, we've got a suggestion for you. Use this one, right? Like a generated one. It's usually pretty decent. It's usually got letters, numbers and symbols in there all mixed up. It's one that usually I wouldn't even be able to like remember. So what I do is I use that generated password, and then I just store it in my my browser's uh, password manager. Now, is that the safest thing to do? Maybe not, because if your browser password manager ever got breached, well, then they would find all of those passwords. This is why I use only the non-critical accounts. And I, I only store the non-critical accounts, things that aren't that important to me. The rest go into the important 
password manage managing book, which is very old. I've had this for like 15, 16 years now, and uh, I've stored passwords in there that entire time. The rest have gone into my browser password manager. That's where I've stored them. Now, some people opt to use third party password managers. And I just want to make a note on those real quick. When you use those, typically they will give you what's called a master password to be able to access all those passwords. Do not lose that. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people use like LastPass or other password managers like that. Forget their master password and then they lose all of their passwords. Okay, not good. And just remember, again, like I said, no matter what password manager you use, are now risking the data breach that could ensue on, you know, like let's say you use the Edge or the Chrome or the Firefox one. If those companies' password manager servers where that, that data is stored were to get breached, which hopefully they have tons of security around that, right guys? We always hope that that's where their money is going and they're putting a lot of security into the password managing uh, security around the servers, we hope. But if they ever got breached, it would be an absolute honey hole treasure trove of your data because it would be all your passwords in one place and that would be really bad. So um, you could be super paranoid and write all your uh, passwords down, but just remember that that information is still stored over on the other end of whatever, you know, Amazon, Microsoft, boom, they keep a copy of that and that's stored on their side. So you can't defend or really do anything about it on that side. All you can do is try to store your passwords the best on your side, right? So you can put them in a book, you can use a password manager, you can use a third party password manager, but you need to do something. You're not gonna remember them all hmm. up in your head. So if you're not tracking them on pen, pen and paper, you might unfortunately just have to take the risk of using a password manager, store all your passwords in the password manager so that you can remember them, right? Because it's better to have access to your accounts then not have access at all because you don't know what the password is. So, but then of course, that's what different verification modes are there for. So in case you ever need to reset it, you have somewhere for a code to go, whether that be email or SMS text message to your phone, so you can get back in your accounts, right? So a lot to think about. If you're having any issues with passwords or you have any issues with what we've said in this video, trying to set up secure passwords, you're trying to use your password manager and you just can't do it, please reach out to My Computer Works. We'd be happy to help. The number is at the beginning and the end of the video down in the description below as well. And while you're down there, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe, please, so we can keep bringing you these videos. Thank you, everyone, and you have a great day. Stay safe online.